one of the very interesting things that happens at this meeting that doesn't really happen at most big uh, meetings like uh, ASH or ASCO is that uh, there's a format here where people sort of argue their opinions on how to approach things. And one of the subjects that has been controversial in myeloma for the last 20 years is what is the role of autologous stem cell transplant. And uh, uh, people started doing uh, autologous stem cell transplants for multiple myeloma in the 1980s. And every year since then, people say, stem cell transplant is going away because we've developed new drugs, we've developed new combinations. And uh, I think the, the, the consensus at the end of this fun and, and, and you know, fairly vigorous argument uh, between uh, the people who are on the podium and also with the audience was that most investigators believe that stem cell transplant remains viable. Uh, not only does it remain viable, it is still one of the most effective interventions that we have. Uh, it has a number of advantages uh, that in a, in a world where costs have become more and more important. It is probably the cheapest intervention that we have. Uh, it has very few in the way of long-term toxicities, and uh, it can be administered anywhere. That It, uh, it doesn't require uh, a lot of technical sophistication, and uh, it is available in almost every country in the, in the world. So in, in the worldwide view of multiple myeloma, and sometimes in the United States we tend to be sort of, uh, you know, this is the, 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 the way we do things, and, and uh, that, uh, that car fills, that, uh, that high-dose malflan and, and autologous stem cell transplant can overcome many of the, the absences in, in the presence of all drugs that, uh, that uh, parts of the world have to deal with. So I think the consensus was that, uh, that stem cell transplantation, high-dose malflan plus uh, autologous stem cell rescue remains uh, very important, a very safe, and uh, a very uh, effective way of treating patients.